Hello, dear pupils. Dobrodošli na današnju lekciju iz engleskog jezika namijenjenu učenicima šestog razreda. The topic of our today's English lesson is Mysterious Scotland. My name is Ivana Krasovic Mandaric and I will be your English teacher today. By the end of today's English lesson, you will be able to say some interesting facts about Scotland. You will be able to understand a text while reading it. You will be able to correct to use definite and indefinite articles. And you will retell a short legend or a myth. And this is what you will need for today's English lesson. A notebook, a pencil and an eraser, a laptop or a tablet, and a good internet connection. Can you answer the first question? Where is Scotland? A. In the north of the island of Great Britain. B. In the south of the island of Great Britain. Or C. In the east of the island of Great Britain. Think about your answer. The correct answer is A. Scotland is in the north of the island of Great Britain. Here is the second question. What is the capital of Scotland? Glasgow, Edinburgh or Belfast? Think about your answer. The correct answer is B. The capital of Scotland is Edinburgh. Let's try the third question. How many people live in Scotland? Around 5 million? Around 60 million? Or around 8 million? Think about your answer. The correct answer is A. There are around 5 million people living in Scotland. Let's try the fourth question. The flag of Scotland is A, B or C. Think about your answer. The correct answer is C, the flag of Scotland, also called St. Andrew's Cross, is blue and white color. And here's the fifth question. What is the national flower of Scotland? A, a thistle, B, a rose, or C, a daffodil? Think about your answer. The correct answer is A. The national flower of Scotland is the teasel. And here's another task for you. Read and match a word with its definition. Scottish word for a lake. A person who dedicates his life to a prayer, the top of a mountain, a measure for length, not real, an occasion when you see something or someone. And the words are the following. A sighting, feet, fake, a lock, a mountain peak, and a mount. You can pause the video now. Dragi učenici, kada možete zaustaviti video. You can now check your answers. Scottish word for a lake, a lock. A person who dedicates his life to a prayer is a monk. The top of a mountain is a mountain peak. A measure for length. Feet. 
not real, fake. An occasion when you see something or someone, a something. Did you have everything correct? Well done, Jack. Now you can listen about mysterious Scotland. Scotland is often called the land of locks and legends. It's a country of incredible beauty. There are many high mountains and old castles. The highest mountain peak is Ben Nevis. The most famous lake in Scotland is Loch Ness. Do you know why? Loch Ness is a large, deep lake in the highlands of Scotland. People believe that a monster creature lives there. This mysterious creature got the nickname Nessie. The first report of Nessie was in the 6th century. A monk called Saint Columba saw it in the water of the lake. In 1933, a man called George Spicer saw the creature in the lake and he described it as a dragon, four feet high, 25 feet long, and with a long neck that looked like an elephant's trunk. Later, there were some other sightings of the monster, and some people even tried to take photographs of Nessie. But most of those photographs were fake and not clear. Many scientists have tried to explore the lake using underwater cameras, but it's impossible to see much in the dark, deep lake. In order to find a reasonable explanation, some scientists say that Nessie is not actually a monster, but perhaps a large bird, a tree, or even a prehistoric dinosaur. So, until today, there has been no scientific evidence that Nessie really exists. Still, a lot of people believe it to be real, and Loch Ness has become a great tourist attraction. Everybody wants to take a photo of Nessie. What do you think? Is Nessie real or not? Please read and answer these questions. Where is Loch Ness? When was the first report of Nessie? What does Nessie look like? Prepare your notebooks. Dragi učenici, možete sada pripremiti svoje bilježnice i zapišite odgovore na ova pitanja. You can pause the video now. Naravno, možete sada i zaustaviti ovaj video. Let's read and check your answers now. Where is Loch Ness? Loch Ness is in the highlands of Scotland. When was the first report of Nessie? The first report of Nessie was in the 6th century. What does Nessie look like? People believe that Nessie is 4 feet high, 25 feet long, and that it has a long neck, similar to an elephant's trunk. Did you have everything correct? Well done, then. You can now read and correct the wrong words in sentences. Molim vas sada pročitajte ove rečenice i pokušajte pronići koje su riječi pogrešne. The longest mountain peak in Scotland is Ben Nevis. Scotland is often called the land of hills and woods. People believe that a monster shark lives in Loch Ness. In 1933, a man called George Spicer saw the object in the lake. Think about your answers. Let's read and check your answers. In the first sentence, the longest is incorrect. The highest mountain peak in Scotland is Ben Meadows. In the second sentence, hills and woods are incorrect. Scotland is often called the land of locks 
and legends. In the third sentence, the word shark is incorrect. People believe that a monster creature lives in Loch Ness. In the fourth sentence, a word wood is incorrect. In 1933, a man called George Spicer saw the creature in the lake. Did you have everything correct? Well done then. Let's read and look at some examples from the text. Dragi učenici, odabrati ćemo nekoliko primjera rečenica iz teksta. Scotland is a country of incredible beauty. U ovoj rečenici a country zapravo znači one country, to jest jedna zemlja. A word a is called an indefinite article and it is used in front of a countable noun in the singular. Pravilo glasu. Riječ a se naziva neodređeni član i koristi se ispred brojve imenice u jedinu. Read and look at the second example. George Spicer described Nessie as a dragon, four feet high, 25 feet long, with a long neck that looks like an elephant's trunk. If a countable noun starts with a vowel sound, we use the indefinite article N. Pravilo u engleskom jeziku glasi da ukoliko brojba imenica u izgovoru počinje sa samoglasnikom, koristit ćemo neodređeni član N. Vowels are A, E, I, O and U, a samoglasnici su A, E, I, O i U. In 1933, a man called George Spicer so a creature in the lake. Kada po prvi puta spomenimo osobu ili stvar u tekstu, u engleskom jeziku koristit ćemo neodređeni član a, odnosno n. He is a scientist. She is an architect. Koristimo neodređeni član a, odnosno n, ispred zanimanja. An underwater camera is a thing you use for taking photos underwater. Koristimo neodređeni član a, odnosno n, kada pobliže želimo objasniti neku riječ ili pojam. Still, a lot of people believe it to be real. Koristimo neodređeni član a, odnosno n, u izrazima za količinu. Once a year, twice a week, take a photo or go for a walk. Koristimo neodređeni član a, odnosno n, u nekim jezičnim izrazima i frazama. Later, there were some other sightings of the monster. Određeni član the u engleskom jeziku koristimo kada se nešto spominje po drugi puta. Many scientists try to explore the lake using underwater cameras. The lake here refers to Loch Ness. Određeni član the koristimo kada je nešto u rečenici točno određeno kontekstom. Određeni član the u engleskom jeziku koristimo i u nekim jezičnim izrazima i nazivima za mjesta. For example, in the highlands of Scotland, in the north of Great Britain, in the world, the United Kingdom. The highest mountain peak, the most famous lake. Određeni član the u engleskom jeziku koristimo i sa superlativima pridjeva. And here's a grammar summary. Pročitajte još jednom kako pravilno koristiti neodređeni član u engleskom jeziku, a kako pravilno koristiti određeni član u engleskom jeziku. Naravno, sada možete zaustaviti i video. Now do the exercises. Write a an or the. Dragi učenici, pripremite sada svoje bilježnice. Prepišite ove rečenice i nadopunite ih sa a, odnosno n, neodređenim članom, ili sa d, 
određeni član. You can pause the video now. Naravno, sada možete zaustaviti video. Check your answers. Sarah's father works as an electrician. I visit my relatives in Split once a year. Eating a lot of sugar is not good for your health. The largest city in Scotland is Glasgow. Go down the street and the shop is on the left. Can I take a photo of you? Did you have everything correct? Well done then. Do you know any myth or legend? Listen to Ella and answer these questions. Who is Yana? And what did the Miller's wife do in the end? Riječ a Miller u hrvatskom jeziku znači mlinar. The legend of Kameni Svatovi. Close to the town of Samobar lies an interesting site of rocks. These stones look almost human and there is a legend about them. A long time ago, there was a family running a big mill under the mountain. The owner of the mill was an honest and hard-working man, but his wife had an evil heart. They had a son and the son fell in love with the beautiful girl called Yanya. But Yanya was the daughter of a poor blind man. The miller's wife was angry. She didn't want her son to marry a poor girl. So on the wedding day, she cursed all the people in the ceremony, and they all turned to stones. The miller's wife regretted the words when she saw her son turn into a stone, but it was too late. Check your answers. Yanya is a poor girl in the legend of Kamini's Svatovi. The miller's wife cursed all the people on the wedding, so in the end, they all turned to stone. Can you think of a myth or a legend and we tell it? Think of a myth or a legend that you like. Your retelling should include the beginning, the middle and the end. Include character names. Use your own words and check your grammar. You can write with your voice using your mobile phone and send it to your teacher. It needn't be longer than a minute. This a checklist can help you in preparing your retelling. I use vocabulary connected to the topic. I speak fluently and my pronunciation is correct. I'm careful with the use of articles. I included character names and the beginning, the middle and the end. Dear pupils, Good luck with your retelling. This is the end of today's English lesson. Goodbye.